plus the perfect tree. If you haven't had, get, well, let's try this again. If you haven't had time to go out and get your tree and get it all set up, in fact, I think someone by the name of Michelle Velez got her tree already set oh, okay. up. Okay, yes, I did. And so did our Kelly Curran. Uh -huh. Speaking of Kelly Curran, let's send it over to her. Well, it's so loud, but Sorry, before we get to that, uh, let's go back to that real quick. We yeah. want you to upload all of your holiday displays outside, and that's why you just saw that graphic there. Uh, here it is, and we're looking for the best ones around the valley, and then we will show them to our viewers. So this is something we like to do during the holiday season, and you guys are so creative out there. So you can go to Facebook, Twitter, or the website, News3LV, um, and look for us and show us your pictures. We would appreciate it. It a bunch. And you know what? We Oh, she's hiding behind Hi. the tree. <laughs> hey, there, I am. there we are. I'm here. I'm just we're, the tree today. We're having a little fun here <laughs> on our uh, noon show. Anyway, we are here with Heather Campbell. She's from Heather <laughs> Allen Concepts. And yes. as you can see with these beautiful trees, she's going to show us how to do this in our own home. Yes. So for those of us who are a little challenged I'm when it comes to decorating. Out of the way so you can get you the tree. Move? No, go ahead. Oh, I, wa okay. I want you to talk. Okay. We'll let Heather take it over from here. So, you know, tell us, where do, where do we even start? Can you kind of look at this as a blank canvas, so to speak? Exactly. Okay. Yes. So basically, the biggest complaint we get at our company when doing trees is that they're overwhelming sure. and nobody knows where to start. Right. So what I like to do is teach people how to departmentalize or break the tree up in sections. Good idea. Then it becomes less overwhelming. So you got to start somewhere and then just you break do. it up in parts. I'm gonna jump back in. Absolutely. Yeah, because I get overwhelmed. I need some tips. I don't know where. You already did your tree. You did a great job. Yeah, but right it doesn't here. look like this. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you can kind of <laughs> spruce it up when you get home. So where do we start, Heather? So where you start is you're going to want to pick basically your palette or whatever color story you want to tell. Okay. It's all personal, so any color, any you know situation you want to use is absolutely fine. I do like to say maybe you should start with you know two colors and then one neutral. That's what I do. I do yep. red and gold, um, and, and and I normally don't like those two together, but mm. I love the like this gold here, like the glittery. Like the champagne. Yeah, but I always see trees that are so extravagant like this, and I would never think to put like grass at the top and it looks yeah. so good. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's, but yeah, we use filler. Yeah, okay. different filler elements. So if you're someone like me who gets overwhelmed, how do you do this without and still making it look good. Okay, so you want to break it down into sections. Yep. Oh. So after you've chosen your different theme, you pull your ribbons together, you want to get some solid balls mm. in your three colors, okay. you want to get some personal ornaments or some other, you know, ornaments or balls that have maybe patterns or, okay. you know, different sure. touches on them. And then I start by doing um, the ribbon into three to five sections based on the size of the tree. So you start with the lights and you get all your lights on first, right? Correct. Okay. Or yes. if you go my way and you have a tree that's already, already done. Pre -lit. Pre -lit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, great. And so, you know, I like the idea of you saying you have three solid colors you can start with to kind mm -hmm. of start somewhere and then yes. kind of add on different ornaments. And let me Correct. ask you this, is we're running out of time, so will you okay. show us how to put ribbon on a tree? Absolutely. Because I never know how to do that, yeah, but I always no want problem. to. Okay. All right. So if you have a pre-made tree, then I use the branches because I cheat. That's okay. And I go ahead and oh, create. So you tie it I do. onto a branch. And then I create different puddles that drape down the tree. Oh, so you wrap oh. each branch around it. I do. <gasps> that's brilliant. And it creates that pretty little bow effect, doesn't it? Does. It does. Oh, and that's, that's such a good idea. And that's the quickest way. Obviously, Look you want to take a little more time and make them pretty. Heather, you're so good. Any ribbon with wire will form any way you want it to, so that's an important element. Okay. That's so cool. If you have a real tree, just use some green floral wire. Okay. And then it will give you the same effect that your fake that tree is, is giving thank you, you. Because I've always That's wondered how to do ribbon on a tree, and there you go. It's easy, especially if you have the uh, faux tree. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Okay, well, these are free right. tips. Yeah, I love it, Heather. Thanks for stopping oh, well, by. Thank you You're going to make us look our trees look it. fantastic. Get on Wonderful. it, Miss Allen. She doesn't have a tree. She I never don't. does one. Well, our company will do them for you. Oh. So just look oh. us up, HeatherAllenConcepts.com, and we'll be happy to come to your home and do your tree. Well, in that Perfect. case, I will be taking your number down. <laughs> All, All right, we'll right. be back on the other side of the thank break. You. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.